The celebrity chef world comes with big palates and even bigger mouths. Some of our favorite celebrity chefs are known for being the meanest critics when it comes to their peers. Here's a look at some of the horrible things celeb chefs have said about each other. Andrew Zimmern and Tyler Florence in 2009, Bizarre Foods host Andrew Zimmern made zero attempts to hide his disdain for Tyler Florence. In a now-deleted blog post, Zimmern said, Monday's episode of Mama's Boys featured the world's least talented TV chef, Tyler Florence, once again churning out the questionable cooking advice and leading the ladies through a menu of the mom's fave recipes. Watching Florence wolf down the food, stare and ogle at every that strolled by his cutting board and played the role of local TV stud was high comedy of the highest order. In a quick response on Facebook, Florence threw it right back at Zimmern by saying, This guy, Andrew Zimmern, has decided to diss my life's work because I did, my personal friend, Ryan Seacrest, a favor and helped him out with his first big television production, Mama's Boys. It's bubblegum reality. Who cares? I guess it's hard to have a sense of humor when you're on your tenth take of eating yak testicles, smiling to the camera, wondering where your life went wrong. Mmm, delicious. Go Go get him, guys! Yikes! Anthony Bourdain about Sandra Lee According to Anthony Bourdain, Sandra Lee is pure evil. This frightening hellspawn of Kathy Lee and Betty Crocker seems on a mission to kill her fans one meal at a time. He's not a fan of her store-bought ingredients, which led to him calling her out during a Food for Thought forum in 2009 over her now infamous Kwanzaa cake. Please go home, Google Sandra Lee and Kwanzaa cake. And then, and then count how long it's going to take for your head to explode. <laughs> Several years later, he still wasn't over it. In his second book, Medium Raw, Bourdain mentions a night at a party where Lee snuck up behind him and slid her hands up his jacket in a way that even left his then-wife shocked. She said he had been a bad boy, and Bourdain says he felt like it was something out of the movie Cape Fear. We think it's safe to say he may avoid dissing her cooking style in the future. Anthony Bourdain and Guy Fieri it's no secret that Anthony Bourdain has no filter when it comes to speaking his mind about his colleagues, especially Food Network star Guy Fieri. Bourdain has made it very clear he's not into Fieri's style, even calling Fieri's Times Square restaurant a terror dome. In 2011, when Fieri's Lamborghini was stolen, Bourdain tweeted that he borrowed it for a drive and it smells like Ed Hardy in here. And in 2015, Bourdain told Atlanta Magazine, I sort of feel in a heartfelt way for Guy. I wonder about him. He's 52 years old and still rolling around in the flame outfit. What does he do? How does Guy Fieri de-douche? For the record, Fieri was only 46 when Bourdain was ripping him. Fieri definitely had words to say about Bourdain's behavior, telling GQ magazine in 2015, I know he's definitely got to have issues, because the average person doesn't behave that way. It's just, what are you doing? What is your instigation? You have nothing else to f***ing worry about than if I have bleached hair or not? I mean, f Martha Stewart and Rachel Ray in a Nightline interview, Martha Stewart said she thought Rachel Ray was more of an entertainer than an actual cook, saying, Well, to me, she professed that she cannot bake. She just did a new cookbook, which is just a re-edit of a lot of her old recipes, and that's not good enough for me. Ray took it in stride and actually agreed with the statements, telling Us Weekly, Why would it make me mad? Her skill set is far beyond mine. That's simply the reality of it. Stewart eventually extended an olive branch, saying on her show, I truly believe that Rachel has done a terrific job bringing people, many people, who would have never stepped into the kitchen or made a dish to cook. I really had a great time being a guest on her show, and it was a lot of fun to have her on this show making pie with me, too. Come on back, Rachel, anytime you want. Alton Brown and Anthony Bourdain Finally, someone challenges Anthony Bourdain. After vocalizing to People that 252 episodes of his show Good Eats is plenty to make his resume worthy, Alton Brown went on to question Bourdain's place in the kitchen, asking, When was the last time you saw Anthony Bourdain actually cook anything? I've spent 14 years cooking my own food on television, and I've never seen him cook a meal. Brown tempered his remarks with some words of praise, for Bourdain's writing, though, not his cooking. I think that he is probably the best writer about food. I'm jealous of his work. He pokes a lot of things, and that's fine. You have to have critics, issue provocateurs, so to speak. I'm a fan, and the few times I've gotten to work with him, I enjoyed it immensely. Gotta love a little friendly competition and trash talk every once in a while. Gordon Ramsay and Jamie Oliver these two have been feuding for what seems like decades. Ramsay has been all over Oliver, nicknaming him One Pot Wonder and throwing shade at him for being too busy to attend his own restaurant opening. But Oliver gives as good as he gets, telling The Mirror, Gordon is deeply jealous and can't quite work out why I do what I do and why he can't do that. He's too busy shouting and screaming and making our industry look like a bunch of shouters and screamers. He's paid to rant. He's paid to shower negativity. The worst part? Poor James Corden is caught in the middle. Where did you seriously learn to cook? 
Um, Jamie Oliver, really. Oh. That's the truth. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. Click the matched icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.